let's start with a really easy example. Okay. Um, we let's say we're gonna go around one of these loops and we have um, some voltage drops happening. So we have a nine volt battery. When you go through this first resistor right here, you're gonna lose four volts. We know that, we measured it with a voltmeter, let's say. When you go over on this one, you're gonna lose two volts, okay? And our question is, what's going on in the other two resistors? How much voltage are we losing there? So to do this, let's just go around the path. So we start out, um, and I'm gonna start out just to the side of the battery and okay and I'm going to gain as I go through this battery I'm going to gain 9 volts right now I have positive 9 volts going along going along going along well resistors we lose energy so I'm losing 4 volts and now I'm going to keep going I'm going to go toward this loop here we're going to go after this mystery one here boop 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 okay I'm losing energy there by the time I get back here I have to have 0 so in other words we had 9 oh hang on we have nine volts minus the four volts you lost to the first resistor minus our mystery voltage drop has to equal zero. So we have five minus X equals zero. So our voltage drop had to be five volts. Mystery solved. What about the other one? Well, let's take a little tour. So we start over here and we're gonna gain nine volts. Yay, okay. Oh, we're losing four. Keep going. We lost two. Okay, so we're nine minus six. Going here, what would be left? Woo, math. Okay, that's a totally different loop. So nine, uh, okay. nine minus four minus two minus x has got to be equal to zero. So you should always use your calculator, even with basic math, because we make mistakes. And you should get three volts. Very exciting. Okay, so now you know this guy. This guy was five volts. Now this is kind of cool. You don't even necessarily need to use, um, have a battery in there for this to work. So watch. Let's do this last loop, just just for fun. Okay. So we let's start just here randomly. Okay. So in this situation, we are gonna. Let's go, let's go this way. We're gonna gain five volts. Go over here, we're losing two. We're losing three. And come back around, we're now back at zero. So it works kinda no matter what. We're gonna do some more interesting ones now. Okay, now I'm gonna give you some basic rules for kinda how you're gonna add and subtract as you go around these loops. Because in some of these situations, we're actually gonna have multiple batteries, and so we're gonna be going around in multiple directions. That sounds very scary, but I promise you it's not. So let's start with batteries. Let's talk about whether we would talk about adding the voltage or subtracting the voltage on a battery. Okay. So I always pick a particular point to sort of start out on. And it depends on which way you're gonna go around the loop, whether you're going to be adding, subtracting. So let's say this is a nine, oops. Let's say this is a nine volt battery, okay? If you go this way, going around a loop, okay? You're going to be gaining nine volts. I always think about it as jumping up a wall. So if you can kind of imagine, here it is, here's the bottom of the wall with the short end, and you're gonna jump up the wall. You guys see the wall there? It's like you're looking down on the ground. Look, here's the ground. You're looking down the wall. No? Okay, this is you down here, you're very small. And here you are big. It's like you jumped up. Ugh. Can't believe this is out there on the internet. Oh well. All right, so if you jump up, you're gaining the nine volts. If you go the other way from positive to negative, you're gonna lose the nine volts. So let's show you that. So if you went do -ba -do -ba -do, and we just happened to be going around a circuit and we were kind of tracing our way around it, and we're going, oh, and we were going this way, do 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 do. Boom, I always think about it as we fell off, so this would be negative nine volts there, okay, you're losing it. 
The other situation is um, if you're going to try and keep track of current as you're moving around. So if the current is flowing through a resistor like this, okay, and let's say we have some sort of like three voltage drop here. Okay. If you're tracing a path with the current, you're going along, going along, going along, and you're going through the resistor in the same direction as the current, you will be losing energy because that's what resistors do they kind of lose energy and if you're going through let's say the actual resistor is set up like this and the current's flowing this way but you happen to be tracing around and you're going the opposite direction think about it as like you're climbing back up the stairs it's almost like you're going backwards through the circuit so positive three volt gain there okay it's, this makes more sense when we see an example, which we'll do now.